Welcome everybody, my name is Michael. We have to be a little bit quiet because we're currently in Warsaw. The neighbors like to have it quiet past 22, so it's going to be a quick one. Bitcoin is at 36,800. Fantastic, considering the past few days have been really, really rough. Ethereum's at 2,611. Again, the past few days have been rough, but for Cardano, the past week has been positive. It beat Binance coin and it's currently at $1.68. And Dogecoin is still in the top 10. Although number Number seven, XRP went up. Some of the top winners over the past week are Thorchain, Engine Coin, EOS, and Decred. And some of the top losers include Internet Computer, Shiba Inu, Avalanche, Maker, Harmony, and Revane. Today we're discussing about a scam, an ICO scam originating in Israel this time, very different. A fraud that is alleged to be over $250 million amongst the three ICOs all connected to the same man. His name is Moshi Hogag, and he's an Israeli entrepreneur. These were three initial coin offerings ICOs. Whoa, they're still around, hey? And they're claimed to be scams in a lawsuit by two plaintiffs who go by the name Roy Brochel and Eran Okashi. It's a $1.6 million lawsuit against Moshi Hogag. Also, some of his partners, Adi Shalek, Ido Sademan, Yaron Shalem, Shmuel, Asher Grezim, Afishai Z, and Singular Team Holding 2 and Singular Team Limited. Three companies that have raised over $250 million in total from investment. Investors are Siren Labs, STX Technologies Limited, Stocks, and Leadcoin, Leadcoin. It is alleged that these three companies didn't develop any of the products that were promised to investors, and instead, the funds were appropriated for personal use. We've seen this many times before in the ICO world. Hogeg and the other defendants didn't respond for comments. Obviously, Hogeg owns 70% of Singular Team, and the plaintiffs are employees of Siren Labs and Singular Team, respectively. They're currently an unpaid leave, claiming that they were fooled into investing into the ICO, which sometimes happens with employees, and they claim that also they got their family members, their friends, their partners to invest, and not only did they lose money, and they're not getting paid right now, but also their very close and loved ones lost a lot of money as well. So they suffered financial harm, psychological trauma as a result, just a whole bunch of things. I mean, imagine this. You tell your family, you tell your loved ones, hey, invest in this company that I'm working with, that I invest in myself. They believe you. You lose your money. They lose your money. Maybe they even lost more than you. They're suing for $1.6 million, so I'm pretty sure they didn't lose just a few hundred bucks here and there. It was probably, you know, if it was a lot of people, maybe it was six figures a piece. This Hoged guy is a pretty rich individual. He's the owner of the Beitar Jerusalem soccer team. Even though it's very local, it is still expensive to be an owner of a soccer team anywhere in the world. And he's been hit with a number of lawsuits. Uh, one including $5.9 million, and this is allegedly unpaid factory bills. That's for Syrian's blockchain phone. This was actually as of last August 2020. They were sued by Foxconn, which Foxconn was in the news quite a bit, if you remember from years ago, because of... First of all, not very good news with employees jumping out of windows and them having to install nets. But why are they so popular? It's because they're the producers of the chip for uh, Apple iPhones. So they were supposed to produce the Finney blockchain phones. And Foxconn International Holding, FIH, is requesting for more than 20 million shekels, $5.9 million. It only received one payment in November 2018, even though Siren Laboratories raised over $157 million in early early 2018. Sales of the blockchain phone, their actual product, were pretty disappointing, and as a result, Siren Labs laid off 15 of its 60 employees in 2019, and there was other controversies as well. So Hogeg himself has been sued multiple times even before this. His other blockchain firm, Stocks, uh, were reportedly being sued for allegedly misappropriating crypto funds. Now, there was a lot of weird things going on even in 2019. There's a Coindesk article, Crypto Mogul Moshi Hogeg's ICOs have unused usual patterns analysis fine you're able to go through the article which i've linked below and you're able to check out that yeah most likely they were sending the funds to themselves when asked why this particular wallet that received srn tokens from the sale hogeg's spokesperson said we cannot share additional information this particular wallet that we're talking about 
received 50% of all the SRN tokens. Millions and millions and millions of dollars. Many of the original tokens from this wallet appeared to end up on exchanges shortly after the sale and they were being dumped. And as with any blockchain project, even Monero, you're able to track all the data online. And if you're lying, if there's something not right, blockchain analysis experts will be able to decrypt that. They're gonna find out you're lying. Not too good. So this guy's probably gonna get arrested the people who lost their money are probably going to get the full sum, if anything. Hopefully these lawsuits don't cost too much in Israel, because in America they would. But we're already dealing with amounts that are pretty large anyway. It's always a shame when there's ICO scams, but you know, it is what it is. Welcome to cryptocurrency. I just took a COVID test today. Hopefully it's going to, I'm getting the results back tomorrow. That's it for today's video. If I'm positive, then on Wednesday everything's good to go. So thanks for watching today's video and see you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.